Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, add a button to your uh, window form and then when the button is clicked, okay, then you uh, will be able to close the form. Okay. So you can see I have uh, a form, simple form, okay, I created already and then uh, in my toolbox okay, I'm going to look for a control called uh, button. Okay. So it's uh, under the uh, uh, common controls. Okay, so there's a, a control called a button. Okay, so let me just drag and drop. Okay, and then uh, put it over there. And the default name, okay, or the caption name, uh, caption okay, of the button is button one. Okay, but then I want to change it to something more meaningful. Okay, maybe exit. Okay, so let me. Uh, Select the button, okay, and then uh, make sure the property windows uh, window is available to you. Then look for the property name text, okay, and then let me just change the value to exit, okay. In the meantime, okay, you can change the name, okay, of the control, okay, if you want to, okay. So give me a minute. Yeah, there you go. So under design, okay, uh, the default name for this button uh, control is called button one. So maybe I want to change it to BTN exit. All right, okay, then let me uh, click the form. Okay, and then if I run the application right now, you can see uh, it won't uh, do anything at all because I hadn't added any code to it. Okay, so let me close the form. And then now I can select the uh, exit control and then double click on that uh, button. So it brings me to the uh, so called code behind file, okay, which is the visual basic file. And then all I need to do is just add a very simple command me dot close. Okay, it is a statement okay, uh, to close the form. And me means this form, okay, this form, the form. I created, okay, which is this form, okay. So now, okay, let me uh, run the app again, okay, and then I click exit, boom, that's it. Okay, so this is how you can uh, write a code to uh, close the uh, close a window uh, form. Okay, yeah. Have fun.